Oh, he's getting stung, all right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, I love these bee nades. I'm so sorry. I hope you're not allergic. Oh, baby. Look at those bright red currants. Grab them. Grab them. Grab them. Grab them. And eat them. Eat them now. Down the hatch. Oh, look what you did. Look at your shirt. You got them all over your shirt. You slob. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back to a vintage story. It's not really berry juice. It's a uh, it's a brooch, and it's a lovely brooch, if I do say so myself. So anyway, welcome back. We are out in the wilds. Let me bring up the map here and show you our whereabouts. Here's our homestead, the hidey hole, which is no longer a hidey hole. It's actually a house now. Uh, but we're right here, down to the southwest, and we're going southwest to this area right here, which is a huge plains filled with ruins. So we're going to go down here and investigate the ruins and hopefully find some new stuff added in 1.14. We got new uh, tapestries and ornate storage vessels and some new ruins and other things. So that should be fun, but we needed new chunks to generate and I have generated some new chunks here. This is all in the fog of war, but I had flown down here and over here. I didn't touch anything. I just flew and opened it up. And I was also interested in finding a new biome with some light colored stone. And guess what? Found it right up here. It was granite and periodot, did it, did it, dot, whatever you call it. So we'll be able to make some nice light stone and stone brick to uh, for the house to make some upgrades. I want to make a nice kitchen, but the base salt is just too dang dark. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping for a lighter stone so we'll collect some of that when we get there um and we're also looking for uh, bony soil so that's why i want to go down to these ruins another reason to go to ruins today um because we can sift that bony soil and we can find artifacts and relics and wow wolf he didn't see us <laughs> oh wait no he's on us he's on to us is there any water around here let's find some water i have a ton of arrows um now, here's the thing, and I'll show you as soon as we lose this guy or turn around and kill. Oh, here he's coming. <laughs> yeah, let's get somewhere safe. Is there any water here? Water's always a good place to hide from wolvesies. Or maybe we can have him fall in this crack right here. Will he fall in the crack? Oh, here he comes. Okay, let's shoot him. I missed. Right, got him. <laughs> he fell in the crack. We shot him, and then he fell in the crack. <laughs> it's perfect. He's not happy. He fell in the crack, you ding-dong. And he can't get out. There we go. Was that three shots? Three hits with arrows. That's amazing. And I'll tell you why. These are flint arrows. They're not the best, but we're now doing plus 0.5 piercing damage instead of negative 0.5 piercing damage because I added a mod. It's called Better Archery because I was tired of losing arrows too because they this makes it more durable. So there's still a, a chance to lose your arrows. They may still break. 25% chance. But... Um, but that is lower than the usual, which I think was like 50% chance. So they're a little stronger now, and they do a little more damage. I just thought that um, that made sense for us, because we are a hunter now, right? That's our new class, and I still felt kind of weak with those cruddy arrows. But we're going to have to make newer arrows eventually to get to the really good stuff. But for now, I'm going to do it this way. All right, let's go down to this ruin right here. Got some new flowers down here, maybe, too. Or maybe those are berries. But that's a big, big ruin. Let's go down there and check that out. And here's another one here. And then a bunch of ruins here. So, yeah. There's all kinds of ruins and stuff. And then we'll go check out that other biome. And see what's over there. But first, the ruins. And then any holes like this, we might want to take a quick peek in. I mean, not too far in, but... We'll just, uh, just take a quick peek and see what we can find. It looks like uh, that's quartz. Okay, nothing there. Nothing in that particular hole, but as you know, all holes, or most holes, lead to adventure. Here we are at the red thing. It's not berries. It is lupine red. Ooh, I don't believe we have red lupine. Let's go bring these home and throw them in the old flower garden with the bees. They like some red. I don't think we have any red in there right now, so this will look very nice. Although we do have limited spaces in our inventory, so we might have to chuck some of this stuff out. Um, we have blue lupine, right? Let's grab all the reds. Beautiful. All right, the ruin is right here. It's starting to get foggy here. So this is like a big open plain, so we'll be able to see 
Uh, well, without the fog, we'd be able to see for miles. <laughs> Not so much right now. Let's have a quick bite to eat here. We're going to eat lots of fruit on the road. We're going to be foraging. We're going to be hunting. Living off the land today. So much fun. As it should be. Living off the land, right? I hear bees? Do I hear bees? Oh, <laughs> nope. Never mind. It's just running water upstairs in my house. <laughs> Somebody's doing something. Uh, it's gone now. Anyway, um, let's dig around here. Again, we're looking for bony soil. And any kind of vases, vases, or whatever else we can find. And I don't know if these particular ruins have that kind of thing. I'd like to dismantle these ruins too and take some of the stuff home. Maybe not on camera with you guys. Let's just look for the goods. Oh, there's some goods. There's some goods. It's forage. Probably don't really need forage. That's just an old vase. We can bust it up, I guess. Uh, sure, let's break it see what's in there. What do we got? We got blue clay. I don't really want blue clay. So chuck that out. And filled bee nades. Oh, maybe that's what I heard. Bee nades. Are these are these grenades? I think that's a grenade filled with bees. Is that what that means? <laughs> are you kidding me? What does it do? Does it do dam? I guess it does damage. So we can throw this at the next wolf that attacks us. Um, or maybe save them for the next time we go down to a, uh, a locust hive. I wonder if the bees will attack locusts. It's very possible. All right. I don't see anything else down here. Let's go check out some of the other ruins. Hey, you, in the bush. I'm, yeah, I'm talking to you right there, ma'am. Hello? How we doing? Looks like you're having a nice little nap here in this, in this tree. Um... So I won't disturb you, but uh, do you have any milk? <laughs> so yeah, we got a U here. A U. So U's apparently uh, will give us milk. And this one actually is lactating. For 21 days, this U here can be milked, but will become aggressive if we try to do so. So yeah, well, I don't have a bucket, so we can't try it anyway, but that's how it works now. And in 1.14, you can use milk to make cheese. But again, it's a very long process, and you have to milk ewes to get the milk to make the cheese. Um, unfortunately, it's my, but uh, I don't have the bucket with me. And I also heard that you can't milk, um, you can't milk wild ewes anyway. You have to domesticate them. So that's why I didn't bring a bucket. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! 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 Oh! Holy smokes! We got a thing here. It's a, it's a ruin. Whoa! Oh my gosh, bony cow skull <laughs> and rusty gears. What is this tapestry? Whoa. Discovered tapestry part three of 14. Hit J to open your journal. All right, we got a tapestry. Number three, holy. They worshipped him as a savior. He wanted none of it. Imagine the weight of all humanity upon your shoulders. How can anyone withstand such a thing? What? All right. Now, tapestries, I think have been in the game for a while but as far as i know there are new tapestries in 1.14 but i have never seen any tapestries at all so this is all new to me and i've never seen these before either bony oh oh no i wrecked it can we not collect them oh man i want a bony cow skull but i don't think you can collect it it just broke oh dread i don't know oh we got that one okay we got that one we got one Got one here. Maybe I burned the other one with the torch. And that's not the right thing to do. Uh, this says salvation will fall apart when broken. Okay, so some of these are ruined with mold and uh, water damage. So they just kind of fall apart when you touch them. But this one right here, it looks like we can take that piece. And maybe we have to collect all of them. Ugh, stuck. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah, so we're going to have to get the other pieces for the full tapestry. And we got this um, wallpaper on aged planks. So how, how do you get that? I wonder if you can collect the wallpaper. And look at this. This is the holy tapestry that we just learned about. That's two pieces. And it doesn't stack because obviously they're different. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of this soil. We're going to need to make some room here. Let's just go out. And drop this off. Oh, hi, ma'am. Crazy sheep lady followed us in here. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of the bones and the fat. We don't need that. Got plenty of that at home. All right. Well, let's get back in here. We might just spend the night in here now that it's dark. I don't want to go out in the dark with the drifters. We got rusty gears. That's good. That's more cash. So how many is that now? Wow, 17. 17 rusty gears now. There is a trader, by the way. Um, I did not visit the trader again. All I did was fly over here to uncover this area. Again, looking for a new biome. I went all the way down here, and it was all basalt. So that was kind of a fail. But when I went west, I found this and that area over there. And then this whole new biome. Um, so yeah, there's a trader over here somewhere. We'll track the trader down shortly. But let's uh, let's break this stuff up. Let's use our axe, maybe? Heavily collapsed chest. Oh, something in there. A merchant belt. The Hanseatic League, with their merchant navies, offer their services to charter and transport the incredible amount of goods, materials, and refugees. It was a monumental effort of logistics, something only they could pull off. Now, it's heavily worn, and it gives 0.2% um, warmth. Max warmth is only 0.3, so it's not great, but it looks fancy. Might be a little too fancy for my taste. That's for like a, a foppish type person. I'm not much of a fop, but I am curious what it looks like. It's a belt. Oh, right there. I guess we can wear it. That's the belt slot, but I don't see it. Let's take my pants off. Hold on. Is that it right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Let's spin around. Let's check out that belt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's uh, it's very foppish. Hey, uh, you? You? Hey, you? How's that belt look? What do you think? It's nice, right? She doesn't seem to care. It's got like a little bag on the side hanging down. Neat. Yeah, I love the, the new clothing stuff. It's pretty awesome that there's so much of it and we can track it all down and uh, get all dressed up for whatever occasion we need to get dressed up for. Um, now, there's a piece of paper here. Is it just a piece of paper? It's a story passed down for others to read. Whoa! It's discovered lore, reflection, part one of five. I'm making all kinds of discoveries here. This is great. Reflection. I am not the reflective type. I was taught from a young age that life is better treated as a task. There is work to be done. So do it and do not complain. Thinking seemed like a luxury. All right, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but there it is. I'll read that to myself when I get back home and uh, we'll try to piece this mystery together. Um, in the meantime, I think what I might do... Let's open everything else up here. What is this? Prince gloves. Ooh, maybe a prince was buried here or lived here at one time. It's the ceremonial garb of Prince Wilfrid. Fried? The proud last remaining imperial son. A little bit of warmth, and they sure are pretty. Let's put these on. Um, I have hunter gloves on, which are about the same, really, but these have gold trim. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's check out the golden trim. May not be the best for hunting because they seem to glint. And that might give us away. But we'll wear them tonight while we're in this princely building. I'm going to take all of these. Do they stack? They do. Bony cow skulls. We're going to bring those home and dress up something outside. We'll put them on spikes. Oh, there's one there. Oh, was that the other one I broke? Maybe it did actually fall. I don't know. It looked like it just disappeared, but I guess I just didn't get it. Alright, up to seven. Seven bony cow heads. Beautiful. Alright, now this is a slightly collapsed chest. It doesn't appear to open. So let's collapse it even more by destroying it. Oh, this has got something in here, too. It's a story. A story passed down for others to read. That would be us. Let's read it. <laughs> Discovered Lore Breakdown, part one of one. There's only one story to this one here. Breakdown. Constant clamoring, people shouting, I'm worried. Things were quieter before. We had almost given up. Nobody spoke. We just desperately worked on the project. But now it's almost time to wake it, and the people are excited. They're too excited. All right, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I, I will read these off camera, and then we'll summarize in the next episode, we'll do the uh, the old Cliff Notes version. Something about a golem. Interesting. Oh, we got drifters outside. Yeah, this is a nice little shelter for the night, isn't it? 
Does this give us anything when we break it? Nope. Oh, there's more stuff here. Rusty gears. We're up to 23. It's basically currency, so that's a lot of cash. We're doing just fine here. Oh, a minstrel coat. That is beautiful. The costume of the famous Trabaritz Azales. Trabaritz Azale. <laughs> she loved the jungler Gooey and wrote many poignant songs in this name. There's a lot of big fancy words in there. And one rusty gear. All right, we're going to have to put on the minstrel coat. Let's try it on. Oh, I just took off my poncho. Minstrel coat. Do I have to take something off? Seems like it's not showing. Is it a cape? Yeah, this one does not appear to be showing. Uh, maybe I have to log out and log back in. Yeah, I'm going to log out and then log back in and check that out. Um, there's one more box over here. It's a broken one. So, nothing. I am curious about these blocks right here. I wonder if we can collect the whole block. Let's just take one down on the bottom. Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. It's blue wallpaper on aged planks. So, I guess the question is, do we want to destroy this whole room or leave it as it is? We could use these in a bedroom, like our own bedroom, right? Yeah. I think I might collect them. I think I might collect them. Um, but I think for now, what I'm going to do is just kill the cam right here. And, whoa, 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 hi. And get through the night. Get some, some neighbors. Oh, by the way, I added another mod up in the top left-hand corner. I should explain that. That is a, it's a clock mod, but it shows not just the clock, but also the temperature and the season and the day and the month. So that is actually really, really cool to have that up there, especially with the new temperature thing. Now that we have to worry about our temperature and staying, uh, staying warm, we get to see it up there in Fahrenheit too, which is nice. So it's super warm right now, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Although I do wish the background image could be removed. I mean, it's nice. It looks great, but I think it's unnecessary. Ooh, hey. I just want the text, personally. Dang it. Getting too close, buddy. I'm getting too close to him. That's the whole point of having a ranged weapon. Um, all right, I'm going to eat. Let's have a little bread. And I think I'm going to cook up this bush meat. We're going to make a fire, though. Which means i got to go out and collect some wood. Oh, eh, boy. All right, we can do that. Let me just kill some of these bums here. Oh, I'm trying to shoot over the, <laughs> the turret. <laughs> and it went right over his head. There we go. Yeah, these these arrows are much, much better. And again, I kind of feel justified because the flint arrows are just so bad. You don't really feel like much like a, a hunter with those arrows. So I don't mind doing it. Hey, that's mine, buddy. Touching my arrow for him. Yeah, these are way better. I think three shots from any arrow in this game is is about right. I mean, even the worst arrows shouldn't take any more than that. What is a bunny? And get him. And how many does it take to kill a bunny rabbit? Just two. Yes. See, that to me is about right. Now, let's get out of here. And I'm going to go and cut down some trees, make some firewood, and cook up the bunny and the wolf. Oh, the wolf meat's not very tasty. Hurry up, hurry up. Something's coming. Something's coming. Three little bunny meats and no fur. Are there any trees here? There may not even be any trees around. <laughs> I didn't bring any fire. Well, there's a little tiny pine tree right here. All right, let's grab it. Get some firewood and make a little fire. All right, let's get back down in that hole. Where's the hole? I lost the hole. There it is. Carve these guys up too. See what they got on them. Nothing. Oh, oh! Just passing through, buddy. Just passing through, pal. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh gosh. There's a lot of them. Excuse me, ma'am. Get out of the way. <laughs> I can't get around this. I can't get around the sheep. Let's go back inside. Uh. Dang it. This is not what I wanted to happen. Need that wood. Alright, 
Grab that wood. Let's get a fire going. Let's eat up. Oh no, I need grass. Oh boy. Eh. Well then. <laughs> Might be stuck in here for a while. <laughs> well, I got some good news and some gooder news. I just restarted the game and the good news is my robe is now showing and it's quite quite divine isn't it? it even has a little sort of a cape doesn't it <laughs> with some frills at the end there <laughs> yeah i like it it matches my uh matches my beard sort of um and the gooder news is we have these bee nades right here we're, we're surrounded but we have bee nades so i think we're gonna be okay let's try them out i was gonna save them for locusts but i think i want to try maybe at least one here see how it works there's a whole bunch of dudes out there and i would love to get them all together and toss one of these bee nades at them and hopefully the bees don't come after us i don't know how these things work we're gonna find out hey guys hello everybody over here come on gather around now I got something for you, you guys like bees we'll find out ready wham oh uh oh oh boy eh that didn't work all right gotta let the bees out go get them bees go get them hey in here come on guys <laughs> oh there they go Okay, <laughs> so they are stinging them. I don't know how much damage they do. Maybe not a whole lot. Maybe it's more of a distraction kind of thing. I don't know. He's gonna go check on his buddies. I think your buddies are all dead, pal. There they Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Bad, bad bees. Bad. I can't control the bees. They're just bees, after all. So they just have a mind of their own and attack anybody that gets close. And I think... Oh, no, there's still somebody out there. I was gonna say, maybe they killed them. All right, I'm gonna take a quick peek here. There go the bees. <laughs> I don't know if the bees are going to work on the locusts, because locusts are actually uh, mechanical. Oh, he's getting stung, all right. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love these bee nades. Oh, look at that. That's so... I'm so sorry. I hope you're not allergic. <laughs> he's running. <laughs> I think he might be. All right, I'm going to block him off. I'm not sure how long these bees stick around, but it seems like quite a long time. <laughs> Oh, I wish uh, I wish Freddy were here. He's got a special special bond with bees. His special purpose. Oh, that guy just exploded. I wonder if the sun is up. What time is it? Three o'clock in the morning. No, sun can't be up yet. Maybe they just explode after a while. Oh, yeah. Okay, one left. I just want to go up and get some grass, make fire, so we can cook up some of this meat. All right, I'll kill this guy. One guy left. There we go. Oh. Man, they last forever, don't they? Now, hi. Did you get stung? All right, we just need grass. One. Oh, there we go. Did I get it? I think I got it. Ow. I think I fell. All right, we're good. We're good now. Did I get the grass? I got the grass. It's all we need, just one little grass. And we'll get a fire going. And we can uh, cook up this meat. Spend the night here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got wabbit meat on the barbecue inside the old uh, prince's house <laughs> underground. <laughs> anyway, I think with that, my friends, we are going to call it quits. Is that a dead guy? Dead guy? Ah! I just set that guy on fire. <laughs> did I just set his body on fire? I think I did. Oh, no. Let me see if I can open him up while he's burning. There he goes. All right. Well, I think we're done here for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to go check on that meat. Is it done? Oh, it is done. Mm-mm-mm. Let's have some wabbit meat. Delicious.